What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing three glitches and tricks with you guys which are all working in GTA Online after all the latest updates and patches. So let's go ahead and get straight into things. So as for the first glitch, now this one is extremely weird, so don't go ask me to explain how this works because I have no idea. But basically what you can do is make any quad bike in the game faster by removing one of its wheels and turning it into a three wheeled vehicle. Now like I said this glitch works with any quad bike available in game. As I'm sure you guys know the number of different spawn locations around the map where you can find yourself a quad bike. One of those being on Vespucci beach where I am at right now. But basically what you want to do once you've found a quad bike is get yourself a tank and you want to drive one of its tracks into one of the rear wheels of the quad bike and when you do so as you can see one of the wheels will then fall off. Now once you've done this you can then get onto the quad bike and drive it around and when you do so what you'll notice is a considerable speed increase. As I'm sure you guys know usually as standard the quad bike isn't particularly fast but for some unknown reason once you've removed a wheel it becomes a lot faster, at least three or four times faster than its standard version, making the quad bike almost as fast as some of the fastest vehicles in the game. Now for those people wondering, yes because you've lost the wheel you will have some control and handling problems, but to be honest it's not that difficult, it's easily manageable and you can easily drive around with only three wheels. But why not go ahead and try this out for yourselves and maybe even challenge your friends to some races whilst they're driving sports and supercars and show them how much faster you are on a three wheel quad bike. Anyway, so moving on to the next glitch, now this one allows you to open the back of the cargo bob, which is surprisingly a very simple and easy trick to do, which won't take you any more than a few seconds or so once you've found yourself a cargo bob. As I'm sure you guys know, you can't usually open the back, and even when you look at the back of the cargo bob, it doesn't look like the rear door would even open, it looks more like a sealed vehicle, but surprisingly yes, you can open the back door very very easily. So what you want to do once you've found one is get into the pilot's seat and you want to fly roughly 5 or 10 meters or so off the ground. From here then what you want to do is lean the back of the cargo bob down and you want to smash the back of the cargo bob into the ground. Now you may have to do this 2 or 3 times or so and once you have done so as you guys can see the back door of the cargo bob will then open and you can then see inside the back of the cargo bob itself. Now unfortunately before you get too excited you cannot walk into the back of the cargo bob up the ramp. When you try to walk up the ramp you'll hit your head and you're blocked off. So unfortunately there is an invisible barrier so disappointingly there is no way of getting into the back of the cargo bob by walking up the ramp. But what you can do with this glitch is show your friends and they'll definitely want Want to know how you've opened the back of the cargo bob as usually like I said before you cannot open the back door. But this would also be a very good glitch to use if you want to take some cool snapmatics of vehicles driving up the ramp into the back of the cargo bob. And for those people wondering, you can in fact fly the cargo bob around with the back door open. And you can in fact close the back door by doing exactly what you did to open it, lean the back of the cargo bob down and you want to then slam the back into the ground and that will then close the door. But moving on to the third and final trick in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a method with you guys which allows you to get yourself some quick and easy money in GTA Online. It is a method which I have used a number of times in the past to get myself some shark cards and it's very, very easy. It basically involves a company named Opinion Outposts who now sponsor me and they're basically a platform which allow you to fill out surveys in return for points which you can then redeem for Amazon gift cards, PayPal cash and stuff like that which you can then purchase shark cards with. Now usually methods like this are very slow and long winded but as for this one it is very very easy and like I said I have used this a number of times in the past to get myself several shark cards. So what you want to do is click the link in the description of the video. It will take you across to opinion outposts, just go ahead and sign up and once you've done so you can then start filling in surveys. Each one takes around about 60 seconds or so and literally after just a few minutes you can already afford some free shark cards. 
Now I'm not suggesting to spend all day every day on this platform just to get yourself some shark cards, but what you could do every now and again is go onto the platform, fill out a few surveys, maybe when you're on a long car journey, on your way to school, or watching TV or something along those lines, and over time you can build up your points and buy yourself several shark cards down the line. Plus for every survey you fill in, you'll receive one free entry into the $10,000 quarterly prize draw. So it's a pretty good deal in my opinion, fill out some surveys, get some shark cards, plus the chance to win $10,000. Unfortunately, as of yet, I haven't won that $10,000 quarterly prize draw, although I'd love to do so, but who knows, maybe one of you guys may be a lucky winners this time round. Well, there we go, guys. Like I said, just go ahead and click the link in the description of this video to get started. And with that being said, guys, that is it for this video, but I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you could take a few seconds, out of your click the like button, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. Also, be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know your thoughts and feelings about these three glitches and tricks. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.